as part of aws cloud9 it is quite common that we run web applications or develop and deploy our web applications whenever we run or develop and deploy uh, our web application we want to connect to it whenever we want to connect to a web application running on cloud9 we need two information one is the dns alias or ip address second one is the port number when it comes to DNS alias or IP address, you can actually go to the EC2 instance related to this Cloud9. This is the EC2 instance. You can go to the details. You can get the DNS alias here. Let me copy this. And also if you go back to this uh, tab, you also need to have a web application up and running on this. Whenever you provision Cloud9 instance from AWS, you will be getting Apache 2 up and running already. You can validate by saying sudo systemctl status Apache 2. It is currently not only installed, but also up and running. You can also validate by saying telnet localhost 80. The port on which Apache 2 will be running by default is nothing but 80. And hence I, I said telnet localhost 80. I'm able to listen to this. Now let me come out of this. To come out of this, you have to hit control and then closing square bracket and then hit enter. Then you have to type quit as part of the telnet CLI. Now let me open a private window here. Then let me say HTTP colon slash slash then the public DNS related to the EC2 instance on which the Cloud9 instance is running. If you hit enter, you can see that it is not connecting to the Apache 2 that is running on that Cloud9 instance. The reason is the port is not opened as part of the security group. We have to open the port. In this case, I'm demonstrating using the simple Apache 2 server. In future, whenever we deploy something on this uh, Cloud9 instance, if at all we want to connect to it from our system, either through browser or some other client utility, you need to make sure that the port is opened uh, for this EC2 instance. Now I'm closing this. I'm actually going into this tab. To open up the port, you have to go to security here. Then click on security group. Security group is nothing but firewall within AWS ecosystem. You can scroll down. You can say edit inbound rules. We are trying to connect to the Apache 2 server that is running on the instance and hence we are editing inbound rules. We can say add rule. We are talking about HTTP and hence we can say custom TCP and enter 80 here or we can also directly say HTTP. Let me choose HTTP here. You can see it is filled with 80. Now I can expand this then say my IP. It will pick the IP address from my instance from which I am actually accessing this website and then it will fill it here. Now you should be able to save by clicking on save rules. Once it is saved you should be able to open the private window, then say HTTP colon slash slash paste the public DNS and hit enter. You can see that you are able to access the uh, web server that is running on that Cloud9 instance. Now, even though we are able to access this, whenever the Cloud9 instance is shut down and started because of the not much activity, the IP address will change. To address the issue of changing the IP address, we have to enable Elastic IP. We will see how to enable Elastic IP for this EC2 instance as part of the next topic.